Djibouti's industrial sector says it has removed tax barriers to increase the level of investment in the country. General Mutoni has this report. Professor Francois Kavari has been living in Djibouti for the past 35 years and has been a citizen for 17 years and also teaches at the National University of Djibouti. He says that given the nature of the country from the Horn of Africa, there are opportunities for Rwandans to invest. <laughs> It's due to agreements that are facilitating. Do you know that Rwandans are not required visas to come here? The law has established, and likewise of citizens of Djibouti in Rwanda. So this should also extend to businesses, so that Rwandans can come and visit Djibouti, see what's taking place, and the opportunities available. And Djibouti citizens can visit Rwanda, see what's taking place there, and the opportunities available, hence laying ground for trade or exchange. There are more than 60 Rwandans in Djibouti working in various jobs. Teoban Shimimana, the president of the Diaspora Association of Rwandans living in Djibouti, and Nishimne Yvonne Gilbert, who works at Exim Bank in the country, says the good relations between Rwanda and Djibouti contribute to the growth in the number of Rwandans in that country, adding that the currency of this country is of great value as currently $1 is equivalent to 177 Djiboutian francs. We need people working in different sectors, especially in infrastructure, technology, because the service delivery here is still low compared to our country. There is need for online businesses and in other technological income generating activities and in education as well. There is still more to be improved and in businesses such as logistics. So it's uh, a very good uh, place where people who want to export uh, goods from Rwanda or to import goods to Rwanda uh, can use this port to, to do uh, importation or exportation. Uh, that is one. Secondly, uh, for, 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 um, for vegetables, uh, for food uh, items, it's also another good opportunity because as you know Djibouti is a, a desert country so the agriculture here is not uh, developed. So it will be good if our uh, Rwandans can um, uh, export uh, agriculture items to Djibouti and uh, uh, take that opportunity. The International Djibouti Industrial Parks Operations, which opened in 2018, is expected to help people that wish to work in this country. Mahmoud Hussein, the Deputy Director of the International Djibouti Industrial Parks Operations, emphasizes that a system has been put in place to facilitate investors so that their operations can be productive. There are a lot of advantages uh, uh, fiscal qui... I would like to point out that there are many benefits, especially to the taxpayers in this sector, like goods from the port are tax-free. There is no tax on value added. The investors working in this sector have the right to use their land as they wish. In short, there is an interest on with respect to taxes except for the salaries of domestic workers who are tax-deductible. International Djibouti Industrial Parks Operation is not far from the port of Djibouti, which also has a large share of the country's economy and other countries in other continents that use it. The Djibouti Ports and Free Zones Chairman Abubakar Omar Hadi explains that the Sino-African Sea Air Program will be especially in African countries to receive goods, even landlocked countries, including Rwanda. Our plan is to deliver directly the containers, the cargo, the oil, export and import from and we need to export more and import less to the continent so to link the maritime facet of the continent to the heart of the continent in our region i think we have uh, easily one third of the population of the continent drc congo they have only 40 kilometers of sea coast on the atlantic ocean the majority of the country is supporting through the Indian Ocean, Rwanda, Burundi, uh, South Sudan, and all these countries and Ethiopia together. I think we are over 500 million population to serve. But now we have started only the sea air. 
and we are happy, very happy to do that. Figures show that in 2019, 18,000 cargo ships have passed through the port of Djibouti heading to Europe port of Sweden that link Europe and Africa, indicating that the port has significant benefits for various countries as it is located on the Red Sea from the Horn of Africa and considered the gateway to all parts of the globe.